Very warm welcome to you to the south coast of England, to Brighton. The Amex Stadium is our venue. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. It's Brighton against Aston Villa. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics these two managers are likely to employ beforehand. We'll soon find out. Brighton will play with these players today. Matt Ryan's in goal. Aaron Moy plays alongside David Prepper in midfield. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. Villa team for this game. Pepe Reina starts in goal. Neil Taylor starts with Jack Grealish in wide positions. And the last player on the team sheet is the one main forward. One of the Premier League ever present from its inception in 1992 until. The most awful of seasons, 15, 16, and relegation, rock bottom. And somebody who has Villa in his heart, Alan, what did you make of it? Well, it's just been a, a tale of woe, hasn't it? It's been a disastrous few years, really. and So sad because it's a big club, as we know, and they should be doing a lot better. Dunk, Bernardo. It's going to be a throw after that challenge. Aaron Moy. Leandro Trossa. He could cross it now. Into the attacking third. Drink water. Trezeguet. That's a turnover in play. David Prepper, Aaron Moy, Prepper. He's cut it out. That's an easy cut out for the opposition. Saw the pass coming. Leandro Trossa. Interception here. Gilbert guiding it through the defenders. Drink water. Press again. But come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Good anticipation by the defender. You could tell the keeper was pleased with that, and why wouldn't he be? At the top draw, that save. That wasn't a very good tackle, but the referee has seen that they've kept the ball. And they'll be pleased to play on. Drink water. Aaron Moy. Trusser. Well, they are moving the ball well here. Trying to slip it through. And it's in for the opening goal. Well, they were threatening to score. It was coming. And now it has... Let's have a look at the build-up to this goal, Martin. That's just, just as good of a finish. The understanding between the players was second to none. And here is another angle on that goal.
So the first goal, it's 1-0. Brighton and Hull Albion, goal! Number seven, Neil Malpe. Made a quick interception. Prepper. Trezeguet. Anwar El Ghazi. Couldn't keep it. Now they can switch the play here. Bernardo. Just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. Here's Bernardo. Taking on the defenders. Read the play well to intercept. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Going to the near post here. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Must be a goal. He's put his body on the line there. Careless there. And maybe the counter-attack is on here. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Prepper. Needs to say, cool. Steered through. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Jahan Baksh. The fourth official has indicated... Well, they could have been opened up there. But the interception stopped that. It's a very good interception. Well, that's half time at 1 0. I think that's a good performance. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Grealish. Montoya. Shane Duffy. Aaron Moy. So it's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. And it's back now with Aston Villa. Has a go here. It looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact. That's just instinct, but that is top defending. Decided to take a short corner this time. Looking for goal now. Now that's a great block. Very clear opportunity. Oh, that would have looked great if it had flown in, but in the end it didn't fly very close at all. No, he looked a bit embarrassed after that effort. it a little bit could have relaxed a bit more yeah, and he seemed to be off balance when he hit it Nakamba drink water Grealish super block Bernardo. David Prepa. Leandro Trossa. Here's Bernardo. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Trossa. He could cross it from here. Can he set himself now? Over the bar and the chance is gone. Nakamba. Drink water. 
Anwar El Ghazi. Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. David Prepper. Good idea. Pass not executed with enough subtlety, really. The run was a good one. Nakamba. And 20 minutes to go. Drink water. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Drink water. And there's the interception. So the free kick given against Aston Villa. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. Didn't look comfortable going into it, and it was a definite foul. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Drink water. Terrific tackle. Lewis Dunk. Didn't want the referee to blow his whistle and he hasn't. So often you see it, it's a bad tackle and he blows straight away, but the advantage is played. Throwing coming up. Well, Alan, it is the substitution now. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front and they're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. Does he want to cross it now? He could. No real challenge to the defender from that cross. Now it's five minutes to go. To Murray. Jahan Bach. Gross. He could take them on here. To Murray. Saw that coming and intercepted. The has indicated there will be a minute. Goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Added time. Shane Duffy. Gross. Pascal Gross. Real. Watch oh, out. And this is a goal. It's a terrific goal and a terrific time. And it should sail the win. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. It's over, and the referee blows the whistle for the last time. The inquest is almost starting now, so soon after the final whistle, about the reasons for this defeat. Yeah, disappointment all round, and maybe one or two will point fingers in the dressing room because I don't think they all gave it their full effort, 100%, and that's inexcusable.